It's the most regurgitated conversation in all of basketball. Mainstream media refuses to put the topic aside because it's always a sure bet to get general audiences' attention. And if you go on social media, it seems almost every take and every basketball highlight somehow gets shoehorned into the Jordan vs. LeBron topic, as fanboys on both sides can't stop fighting in their honor. Now to be clear, I've made numerous videos on this topic, expressing my opinions, and over time, some of those stances have softened a bit. But although I've given my thoughts on who should be first, second, and third, I've never expressed my opinion on the actual overarching topic itself. Is the GOAT discussion smart or stupid? Is it good for the game of basketball or is it bad? Although most people are willing to engage in the conversation, there are those who try to attack my intelligence for even engaging in the topic in the first place. Now those people could certainly lighten up a bit, but I honestly can't even say that I fully disagree with them. One of the most ironic things to me is how Michael Jordan fans will fight so hard to convince people of MJ's case as the greatest player of all time when Michael Jordan doesn't even do that himself. At this point, I'm sure many of you have seen this clip, but this is from April 16th, 1996. The Bulls had just won their 70th game in their historic record-breaking season, and in the post-game press conference, when asked if this accomplishment pushed him ahead of all the other greats, MJ had this to say. No, I think that's something that I, I really can say can be established. Each one of us play in our different eras, with different teams, with different levels of success, and to compare all of them and say one's better than the next, it's an unfair justice to, to the art or to the artists, you know, being that Magic Johnson, Will Chamberlain, all the guys before me were, were the artists of, of this game of basketball, and we've all learned from them, and we've in, improved the, the, the picture to a certain extent. And to say that one improvement is better than all of it, it's an unfair uh, assessment. Even 21 years after that original statement was made, MJ still maintained a similar viewpoint. In 2017, in an interview with a cigar aficionado, Jordan was asked about his opinion on the Tiger Woods and Jack Nicholas GOAT discussion for the sport of golf. And MJ not only gives his opinion, but he thoroughly explains his thought process for his own sport. Take a listen. Uh, I, I, I beg to differ, and I, mm. I'll give a different analogy to that because First of all, you're, you're never going to say who's the greatest of all time to me. And I think that's that's more for PR and more for selling mm -hmm. stories and, and getting hype. Uh, Jack and, and Tiger never played against each other. They never played in the same tournament. They never played with the same equipment. They never played with the same you know length of golf course. I never played against Will Chamberlain. I never played against you know Jerry West. To now say that you know one's greater than the other is being a little bit you know unfair. You know. Uh, I think when you can see the similarities and you understand, if you, this is one way you can judge the two. How much impact did each change or, or evolve the game? Jack during his time when he played, or Tiger during his time. Now, you know, obviously Jack won more during the time he played. Tiger evolved it to where it was you know, it crossed a lot of different boundaries where it's not just a white guy's sport, you know, the black guys, Afro-American, you know, all the minorities play the game. And you play at a level to where it generated so much interest financially that it grew the game from a financial standpoint. Now, does that constitute him being the greatest? Or does that mean he's any less than, than Jack? I think it's unfair. Yeah, Jack probably has, he has 18 more majors, uh, 18 majors and Tiger's got 14. And I think those are when, you know, that's how people are judging certain things. I won six championships. Bill Russell won 11. Does that make Bill Russell better than me and make me better than him? No, because we play at different eras. So when you try to equate who's the greatest of all time, it's an unfair parallel. It's an unfair choice. And I think, you know, those are the demons that, you know, obviously Tiger had to live with and he's going to be challenged and he's going to be graded upon that but for me i think they're both great i would never say one is greater than the other that's me that's my opinion okay again this take is ironic because nobody fights harder for their goat candidate than jordan fans do but make no mistake 
Jordan isn't the only player who doesn't entertain the discussion. In an interview in March of 2019, Kobe explained his thoughts on people comparing greats to one another, and this is what he had to say. It's hard for people to believe, but I really don't care. You know, like, I moved on. You, you know, so like, you have a career, you do the best you can with the 20 years I was very fortunate to play, and then you shelf it, you're done. You move on to the next thing. So now I'm focused on these next 20 years. And so that, those debates are entertaining, I'm sure. And, you know, it's uh, fun for people to engage on those, engage in those. But for me personally, it doesn't matter. So when everyone gets into the, is LeBron better than Kobe? Whatever it is. And you hear it. You can't not hear it. You have, like, no reaction. Sure. No, I think the, the best way to explain it is I, I typically do not engage in things that I cannot definitively win. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Sure. It's argument. Argue for what? If you agree with these perspectives from Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, then you basically agree that the GOAT conversation is ridiculous altogether. The thing is, not every GOAT candidate holds the same viewpoint and approach. Years ago, LeBron famously got the basketball world in a frenzy when he made this statement about himself. That one so right there made me the greatest player of all time. For That's so many reasons. I was super, super ecstatic to win one for Cleveland because of the 52-year drought. Like, I was ecstatic. Like, obviously, I showed that, that the first wave of emotion was when so y'all, everyone saw me crying. Like, that was all for 52 years of everything in sports going on in Cleveland. And then after I stopped, I was like, that one right there made you the greatest player of all time. You know, everybody was just talking how they were the greatest team of all time. Like, it was the greatest team to ever assembled. And for us to come back, you know, the way we came back in that fashion, I was like, now here's the thing, when LeBron made this statement, it initially seemed to do him more harm than good, as seemingly everyone began to take aim at him for his confident viewpoint. Generally, people don't like it when someone sings their own praises, and unless you have the right charisma and character to make it work, like Muhammad Ali for example, then people generally are not going to agree with you, and are usually going to try to remove you from the pedestal that you placed yourself on. Now on the other hand, this was the comment that really sparked the debate, and LeBron used the narrative that has become one of his strongest arguments for the title of greatest player of all time. So maybe this was actually a brilliant move by LeBron, as he challenged people to think outside of the box of Jordan being the greatest ever. But it's just like MJ said, everything here is subjective. They're different players on different teams in different positions from different eras. There's basically no way to objectively compare these legends side by side to one another, because there's just too many variables that are literally impossible to accurately quantify. So basically, I agree, the GOAT debate is in fact stupid, and it's ridiculous how emotionally involved people get over something that they can't objectively win. Now that I've established my view that the GOAT debate is in fact ridiculous and doesn't deserve much credibility whatsoever, I could just end the video here and now, but I'm not doing that, because I believe that the GOAT debate is also awesome. Like I said before, people have criticized me for engaging in this debate as often as I do, and although I see where they're coming from, I also think they're missing one of the fundamental realities of the game of basketball and of sports in general. This is all about competition. The most simplistic objective of basketball is scoring more points than the other team to win the game. It's a competitive form of measurement. So of course, players and fans are naturally going to make those competitive measurements on an individual level. It's simply an extension of that competitive nature. As much as Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant want to act like they're above these comparisons, to a certain extent, these are debates they've also engaged in at one point or another. In 1997, at the ceremony of the 50 greatest players of all time, multiple witnesses have claimed that they saw Michael Jordan and Wilt Chamberlain having an extensive debate on which one of them was better. In 2012, at the Drew League, Kobe engaged with a fan, claiming that he was above Michael Jordan on the all-time list. And another legend, Bill Russell, has never been shy about making his case above Wilt Chamberlain and Michael Jordan. Just because these guys don't say it in front of a mic at a press conference doesn't mean they don't think it, they don't believe it, and it doesn't mean they don't argue it privately. 
you can make the point that this discussion is pointless and there can ultimately be no victor. But let's be real, we're competitive guys and we're still gonna try. In my mind, basketball lore isn't all that different from superhero lore. In reality, you'll never see Superman fight Goku, yet we'll try to argue who would win. In a similar fashion, you'll never see Michael Jordan go up against LeBron James, but we'll still try to argue who would win. Face it, without these conversations, the game and the community is just a lot less enjoyable in general. But I will say this, if I have one bit of advice for the GOAT discussion, it would be to just remember, like Kobe said, there cannot possibly be an objective winner. So don't foolishly attach your emotional state to it. It's truly not worth that much of your energy. And if it is something that goes as far as affecting your mental health or how you treat others, then maybe it's time for some reflection and considering the fact that maybe you've taken this a bit too far. So what do you guys think? What is your take on the GOAT discussion? And as a bonus question, who would win? Superman or Goku? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.